Hey guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn about dictionary in Python. Dictionary is the collection of key value pairs. So we have learned about list, tuples, and sets so far, and we have stored multiple values inside those list, tuples, and sets. But in dictionaries, we can also define a key that can identify the related values. So let's see the example to see what I mean by that. So let's say person and we use this curly braces to create the dictionary. So here we can provide the key. So let's say name is the key and then we can provide the value for this name. So let's say Paul then comma. Now for the next key value pair, so let's say age, age is the key and the value for age let's say 25 so this person is the dictionary and here we have two key value pairs the first one is the name which has the value of Paul and the second key value pair is this age where age is the key and this 25 is the value so we can print person and let's say we want to print the name then we can Put this name key inside this square bracket and if we print it then it will print Paul because Paul is the value of this name key of this person dictionary and if we also print age now it's gonna print both name and age so it printed Paul and 25 we can also use get method to get the value of certain key so instead of using this square bracket we can use dot gate method and then we can specify the name of that key and we can also do the same thing for age so person dot gate and age and it's also going to return the name and the age so that's how we can access the value of certain keys to add the new key value pair in our dictionary we can type person and then we can give the key in this square bracket so let's say phone equals and let's give any random number so one two three four five now if we print this person then it should also add this phone with the value of one two three four five so let's run this and here we can see the phone has been added with the value that we just gave here we can also add list as a value inside the dictionary so let's add one more key so person and let's say hobby so a person can have multiple hobbies so we can put the hobbies in the list so let's say coding and let's say singing and let's say playing so we're adding these three values coding singing and playing as the hobby of this person so if we print the person now here the hobby key has been added and the value of this hobby is the list of these list items so they are coding singing and playing now to delete the items we can use del or the del keyword then we can type person and then we can give the key so let's delete this hobby item so after deleting if we print this dictionary then we don't have that hobby key anymore we just have name age and phone now another way to delete the item is instead of using this del keyword we can use pop method so inside this pop we can provide the key so this time let's delete this phone key so if we put phone inside this pop method now this value will be deleted or removed from this person dictionary so if we try to run this code now 
now as you can see the phone value has been removed but we do have this hobby okay so let's remove this code so now we must have this name age phone and hobby so we have four items in our dictionary so if we use this lane function and print it then it should print four because we have four items in this person dictionary so let's see and there we go we have four items in this dictionary now we can also print person dot keys and this should print only the keys without the values so it should print name age phone and hobby so let's try to run this and as you can see it printed name age phone and hobby because those are the keys and just like keys we can print the values by using this values method now it should print only the values so let's run this now it printed Paul which is the value of name it printed 25 which is the value of age it printed 1 2 3 4 5 which is the value of phone and it printed this list items coding singing and playing which is the value of this hobby and if we used items method now this should print all the keys along with their values so let's run this so it printed keys and values so name is Paul age is 25 phone is 1 2 3 4 5 hobby is this list items okay so now let's try to loop through these dictionary items so let's use for I in person and let's print I and let's see what it will print and as you can see it just printed the keys so it printed name age phone and hobby it didn't print the values but if you want to print both keys and values then you can add one more variable in this for loop so let's say j and instead of this person we can use this person that items method and now we can print this j variable as well so now if we run this now it printed keys along with their values and instead of this i and j we can give the better name for these variables so let's give this one the name of key and let's give the second one the name of value so we can print key and value and this should also print the same thing so it printed name and the value okay so here we added this list item as the value in our dictionary but now let's do the reverse let's create a list and let's add the dictionary items in that list so let's say person equals and we are using this square bracket to create the list and let's add the dictionary values so inside this curly braces let's say name is Paul then age is 25 and then address is California okay so this will be the first item of list now let's add one more dictionary item again let's say name is Anthony age is 30 and the address is New York we can add as much items as we want so let's give one more dictionary item so let's say Kelly age is 20 and the address is New Jersey okay so here we have this list named person and inside this list we have three items first with the name Paul age 25 and address California second item is with the name Anthony age 30 and address New York and the last item with the name Kelly age 20 and address New Jersey so here we can see that this person list has the information of these three persons or three people the first item contains the information of this Paul 
The second item contains the information of Anthony and the third item contains the information of Kelly. And now we can use our for loop. So let's say for people in person and let's print people. Let's see. Here it's printing these three dictionary items because the list contains the dictionary values. But let's say we just want to print the name of each person. Then we can just do people and then we can provide the key that is name. So now if we run this, it will just print the name of those three people. So Paul, Anthony and Kelly. If you want to print the address as well, we can give this address key. Now if we run this, it will print the name and the address of that person. So we can include list inside the dictionary. We can include dictionary inside the list and we can do the same thing with list, tuples, sets and dictionaries. So go ahead and try to mix all these data types together. And that's how we use dictionary in Python. So that's going to do it for this video. I'll see you soon with the next video. Till then, keep learning. Goodbye.